Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSunder.com. If you are new to my channel, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And you can also follow me on a Facebook, links on the description. And this video is sponsored by MyTeamWorks.com. In our last section, we have seen how to work with the email, email password-based authentication in your Firebase. So this section, I'm going to teach you how to work with the real-time database. So you can notice, in the last section, we have made the register function, right? So we received the name, email, and password. But only with the authentication, we can able to store email and password on the authentication. But that is not enough, right? So in case if you want to store the user's information, such as a name, mobile number, or like a user may have a lot of information, like created data, user have a profile picture, a lot of information. So for that, what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to store these information on a real-time database, okay? So for that, I'm just going to the database. So here I need to choose real-time database. We also have a Firebase uh, Cloud Firestore that we will uh, see in the next session. So uh, real-time database, click create database. So here you can choose a locked mode or a test mode, okay? So test mode means uh, your data is accessible to the cloud, so anyone can read it. And in locked mode, so user must have a authentication to read and write. Okay, so let's do the test mode because uh, we we just learning right. So the security and all, uh, we don't want to worry about it right now. But later you need to write. Okay, security is very important. Later you have to write. So as of now, just to choose the test mode and click enable. Okay, so right now we have seen the data here. So since the data is, uh, we didn't add any data over here. The data is nothing. And here you can see the so rules is on uh, public and uh, anyone can do it, okay? Because we enabled the test mode, okay? So in, in future, you just go to the rules and here you have to update the rules, like who can read the data and who can write the data, something like that, okay? So let, let's be the on the test mode right, right now. So go to the data, okay? So what we are going to do here, when the user is registered successfully, we need to fetch the user information, like a name, email, and the created date, okay? And we also have some profile URL. So right now it's something like a default URL, something like that. So let's do it right now. So I'm just going to the uh, register page. So after the registration, I mean the user created successfully, we have to get the uh, like a uh, name data and we need to put in the real time database, okay? So before that, go to app.module.ts so we have enabled the auth module, right? So like that, we have to enable the database module. So then I'm just going to the register page. So here I need to import. So now using this object, we can store the data into the real-time database, okay? So after the after user registered successfully, so what I'm going to do here, this dot AFDB, dot list so for storing the data you can have the list or object okay so list means array of data and uh, object means it's a json object okay so let's be the object so under the user collection so we are going to store our user data okay so under the users so now we need to get the user id so in, in authentication when authentication is completed, so every user will get a unique user ID, okay? So the, under this UID only, I'm going to store the user's information, okay? So under the users, and so the response, it will contain the user object, right? So res dot user dot UID, okay? Here we need to set the information about the user. Okay, so set it will contain the object. Okay, so I'm going to use name of the user. Name is going to be this dot user dot name. So you can uh, add any data you want. Okay, it's, it's just going to be a JSON data. Okay, so if it is successful, then we are going to navigate to the home page, right? Okay, so let me save this and see what happens. When I click register. 
So now the user has been created and navigation is also successful. I'm going to the uh, authentication table. So when I click refresh, so I can see the uh, uh, user with the random email ID and uh, user ID also. Then I'm just going to the real time database. So here you can see under the user collection, under the particular user ID, so we have stored the information. So email created at and the uh, name of the user, okay? So this is how you can work with the uh, Firebase real-time database, okay? So now we have uh, insert the data, right? So we, uh, in an upcoming video, we will learn how to remove the data and how to update the data. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you can get the source code links on the description. And if you want to learn more about Ionic, visit codesynthet.com slash Ionic tutorial. Uh, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And finally, this video is sponsored by mythemebox.com uh, where you can get the Ionic themes and starters. And uh, if you want any training, uh, like a one-to-one -one training, we, are, we still offer that. You just visit uh, codesynthet.com slash training. Hey guys, see you on next video.